This is the ultimate guide on how to shoot a soccer ball. In this video, I'll show you how to improve your shooting accuracy, how to improve the power in your shots, how to be more consistent with both feet, and how to improve your weak foot specifically. I'll show you how to shoot free kicks and how to practice shooting by yourself so you can start having more confidence in front of goal and scoring more goals when you play. Attack the ball. You can usually tell if someone's going to have a good shot simply by the way they approach the ball. Before the opportunity comes, you have to be ready for it. The quality of your movement into the ball will translate into the quality of your shot. Think about being light on your toes, moving towards the ball, and attacking it with purpose. Step number two, focus. It seems obvious, but the truth is, most players are already looking at the back of the net before they even make contact with the ball. When it's time to shoot, you need to lock on to the ball. Focus on the ball until you follow through towards your target. Even more so, focus on a specific point on the ball that you want to hit. Hitting the ball even a fraction to the left or to the right will produce a different result than you want. Pick your spot on the ball and keep your focus until the shot is complete. Step number three, control your body. Most players only focus on their shooting leg and foot. You want to focus on your body positioning. There are two things specifically I want you to focus on. First is your planting leg. As you approach the ball, make a strong plant and stabilize yourself with your non-shooting leg. Second is your upper body. Place your upper body over the ball and lean forward towards the net. Step four is a strong impact. To produce a strong shot, you must have a strong foot. More so, you must keep a strong foot through impact. Many players will lock their ankle and make their foot strong, but as they strike the ball, their ankle goes weak. Flex your foot, point your toes down to the ground, make your ankle strong, and tighten your leg. Keep that strong impact as you make contact with the exact point on the ball that you were focusing on in step number two. Step five, follow through. As you push through the ball, keep your foot flexed and follow through towards your target. Follow through with your foot, but also your leg and your shoulders. The natural tendency is for right footers to pull their shots across their body to the left and left footers to pull their shots across their body to the right. Focus on a straight follow through and you will produce a straight shot. So first of all, remember, think about your body. Where is your body directed when you follow through, okay? If I'm swinging and I'm following through like this, like a lot of us do, the ball is gonna go there. Or if I'm too open like this, the ball is gonna go there. Think about, okay, where did my body end up? If you were like this and the ball went over there, that's because you opened up your body too much, okay? So get your body going towards the goal. But I want my foot to come through the ball and point towards that corner, okay? So when I'm done making my shot, my foot should be pointed over there. Guide the ball, push the ball there. Don't just hit it, don't just hit like a snapshot. Don't just hit it like, this, stop your follow through and hope that it goes where you want it to go. Okay, you want to push it there, guide it there with your follow through. So think about those things. Flex foot. Bigger backswing and quicker swing. And most importantly, get your body over the ball if you're thinking about hitting it hard. So understand, technique produces power. Power comes from technique. It doesn't come from trying to kill the ball as hard as you possibly can. How do you shoot with your weaker foot? You shoot the exact same way as you do with your stronger foot. You just need to learn to build the muscle memory and the range of motion and the strength and the flexibility in your weaker leg. 
Let's talk about foot technique because it is the biggest mistake players make when it comes to using their weaker foot. If you want to have a strong shot, you must have a strong foot. So whether you're using your laces or the inside of your foot, focus on making your foot as strong as possible. Flex foot, toes pointed down, ankle locked. Just think about making your foot rock hard. This is going to help you produce stronger shots. Now, as you make contact with the ball, you want to keep your foot flexed through the ball. So you want your foot flexed and strong before you make contact, as you make contact, and as you push through the ball. Most players will let their ankle and their foot go weak as they make contact. This will create a lot of backspin and make your shots very weak. So if you wanna have a strong shot, focus on keeping your foot flexed through the ball and not letting your ankle go weak like this. The other thing you wanna focus on is making the point of contact actually on your laces. It probably feels very awkward for you to even try to use your laces on your weak foot, especially if you're just starting. This is something that you will develop over time. You'll just have to build the muscle memory again in your foot, build the repetitions, and just keep practicing. So you may just wanna focus on swiping the grass with your laces. Some other mistakes players may be making with their weak foot no backswing instead of a nice flowing backswing or they're kicking their butt they're kind of just lifting their foot through the ball this is never going to generate any power so focus on having a nice big backswing the next is your point of approach you're coming at the ball too straight so if you're always pulling the ball across your body you're probably approaching the ball too straight it will help you if you approach from an angle like this this will help you get your shots on target and be more accurate and consistent. So think about your angle of approach. not really low but on the bottom third if you're hitting and it's going too high you're probably hitting too low on the ball if it's going into the wall you're probably hitting too high on the ball so analyze your technique and make the changes but again i'm hitting with the inside of my big toe there bottom of the ball now the follow through for me this is the most important part of getting that whip on it and getting it to come back down so you'll probably see some guys that'll take a free kick and they'll land on that shooting foot something like that that's what i try to do but I really focus on carrying my follow through towards my target. So instead of hitting the ball and jumping and stopping dead on the spot like that, I'm instead trying to push through towards my target. So I'm really guiding the ball. I'm pushing that ball on that path that I want it to take. And then I'm landing on that shooting foot like I demonstrated, but I'm going forward with that technique. So it looks something like this. Wall is extremely valuable when you're practicing shooting, especially for a beginner, unless you have 20 balls. If you have to hit it in the net, as I've said before, hit it in the net, run and get your ball, run and go back, do it again. You're not getting as many repetitions as striking on the wall, it's back already. Another shot, another rep, more reps, better skills. So I'm gonna use a wall. First one, open touch. Second one, two touch. So take your shot, good technique. Now you have one touch to set yourself for the next shot. One touch to get it out of your feet and strike it. So if my first touch is not good enough in a game, I'm not gonna be able to get my shots off. 
That ball's coming to you, you wanna score, but you're already thinking about shooting. You didn't even think about setting yourself. So when that ball's coming to you, focus on this touch. So important, get out of your feet so you can get the strike that you want on it. Okay, so two touch. The next shooting drill I'll do is one time shooting. First time. So as that ball's coming to me, I don't have any touches to set it. I have to strike it and I have to make it go forward. Start with a small distance. Again, don't worry about power. Focus on good technique. The purer my technique is, the sharper my technique is, the better the power will be and this will transform, transfer to every style of shooting. Okay, so it seems like I'm not hitting the ball hard. I'm not, I'm just focusing on making good contact. So when I do wanna add the power, I have that technique there, that firm foot through the center of the ball. Another drill you can do is shooting after a skill or shooting off a dribble. Okay, go again. Little bit of skill. So dribbling, change of direction, getting your shot off. Last one I'll demo today is shooting off a turn. So as that ball's coming, I have to practice turning, striking, because you'll find this is a different skill than just shooting straight forward. So it's coming off the turn, control the body and strike. But I would start like that. Play here, boom. And what will happen when you're doing that is the tendency is here, overcompensate, and you end up there. So really focus on getting your shot going straight towards the goal. So again, here, focus on straight, yes. Quick turn. Oh, no, I want better contact on my right. Okay. These are some soccer shooting drills for beginners.